Kansas, 14, Iowa State, 11. We're going to start off with that because College Game Day is going to Lawrence, Kansas next week, and it's going to be a fantastic time. Absolutely fantastic time. They have been waiting for something like this for a long, long time. And I, I'm incredibly excited about it. I like when they go to new locations. They have never been to Kansas before. Kansas now 5-0 and on the season. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up some of the stats here. And the win probability, of course, shifted towards Kansas in this game. But, man, there was nothing about these stats that would tell you that Kansas should have won this ball game. Now, I understand if you look at postgame win expectancy, et cetera, Kansas, uh, I believe, was like a 90% postgame win expectancy, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, they lost the yardage battle 303 to 213. Jalen Daniels was 7 to 14 passing for only 93 yards. He did run it eight times for nine yards, which is a drastic drop off from what he's been doing this season. He did have one touchdown rushing, though. Uh, they did lose their running back, uh, and I forget. His name, I want to say Highshaw. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Yeah, Daniel Highshaw Jr. He had eight carries, 46 yards, one touchdown. He did have a fumble. That play that he fumbled on is the play that he got injured on. He had to be carted off the field. So we'll see what that means going forward for them. But uh, but overall, I mean, just incredible day for Kansas. Uh, they held Iowa State to only 31 yards rushing on 16 attempts. Iowa State, however, 30 out of 48 passing for 287 yards, Iowa State ran 64 plays to 46. That, I mean, that's that's nuts. If you look on here, uh, it talks about the the total number of plays, um, and we'll we'll go ahead and highlight that here. Uh, it says total plays in the game, Iowa State 89 to 55. Uh, just just crazy, and I don't know why this thing keeps hopping over, but we'll uh, we'll switch it as we need to. Good gracious. Um, by the way, we've got some some OBS issues, some broadcasting issues that I'm sorting through, and it keeps going back to other spots for whatever reason. So if there are issues, my apologies. Regardless, um, Iowa State went four out of five on fourth down. They were five of 18 on third down. I mean, they they did a good job of continuing drives. They held the ball for an incredibly long time. The issue in this game Iowa State missed three field goals and then dropped a punt that gave Kansas a short field. And that's how Kansas ended up winning the ballgame. It, it's mind-blowing to me how they lost this football game, and yet it makes all the sense in the world because Kansas feels like they have it. Now, we'll see what it looks like when TCU comes to town this week because they have not faced an offense yet that looks anything close to what TCU is doing. Uh, and we'll get to them in just a little bit, but Kansas... Overall, I mean, just absolutely magnificent uh, yesterday. Just absolutely magnificent. They looked fantastic. They looked awesome. I was, I was very pleased with the performance. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.